Now let's move to uh, uh, move uh, forward and talk about other uh, ten terms which are regarding the basic terms uh, and the definition of clinical anatomy. So we have got the word uh, paresthesia. So paresthesia is again, which means the per perverted feeling of sensation. This is clear about it. You know, it's a pre uh, perverted feeling of sensation. And other word view most of people have heard of is coma. So coma means deep unconsciousness, like it's really deep. You won't be able to sense anything what's going on. You won't be in a space and time. You won't understand the time and everything. So it's called deep unconsciousness, all right? And uh, now other word, we have got the tumor and also called neoplasm. So it's actually uh, the uh, non-inflammatory abnormal growth arising from your body tissue, like your the body tissue or your cell number of cells increase, that's called the, your, the, that body part, that tissue part increases. It's actually non-inflammatory. Uh, so it's a kind of the abnormal growth of your cell. In the case of the benign, you must heard, heard of it, benign and malignant. So in benign, there is a mild illness or growth which does not endanger life. So benign is a positive, it's uh, comparatively to malignant. So malignant is a severe form of illness or growth which is resistant to or to treat, uh, uh, which is resistant to treatment probably. You won't be able to, it's kind of cancer, you know, sometime you heard of a benign tumor or malignant tumor. So malignant tumor is easy, but uh, benign, sorry, benign tumor is easy to handle, but the malignant tumor, it's worse. It's, it's, it's kind of very hard, right? And let's now talk about the carcinoma. So carcinoma kind of give us a picture of this, something like uh, cancer, but uh, it's actually a malignant, which is really bad. Malignant growth arising from your epithelium, ectoderm or endoderm. It could be your ectoderm or uh, endoderm. But in the case of the sarcoma, which is also the malignant growth from connective tissue. So whenever you heard of the carcinoma, you just understand it's a malignant growth arising from epithelium. But when you heard the word sarcoma, it means malignant growth again, it's very dangerous, arising from the connective tissue, which is actually your mesoderm. And now cancer, most of the people heard of it and you know what is definition. So it's actually a general term which is used to indicate any, any malignant, not benign, a cancer, is a general term used to indicate any malignant neoplasm which shows invasives and results in the death of the patient if not properly treated because most of the cancers are not untreatable because uh, people realize about their cancer in the last stages so that's why it, that causes a big problem now i'll talk about the metastasis so metastasis very simple, it's a spread of local disease like cancer cells to distant part of the body. Like I've got a cancer over here, if I not treat it uh, very soon, it can transfer through my blood stream to my whole body. So it is called the metastasis. So it's, it's, if somebody asks you what is metastasis, you simply say it's uh, the spread of a local disease. Now talk about the, uh, is the last definition, which is the convalescence. So what is convalescence? It's the, the recovery period between the end of a disease and restoration to complete health. Like there is an end of a disease, like you have got disease and you are suffering from some uh, uh, some signs, you, are, you have fever or something. And today you are, uh, today for example, this is the day you have recovered and this is the day uh, you have gained your complete health. So the time period is called the convalescence. So it's actually the recovery period between the end of a disease and uh, restoration of to the complete health. Uh, this is all about uh, a few basic terms and the definition of clinical anatomy. I wish I could, um, and I will be uh, making more videos regarding these basic terms. And please make sure to comment us and let us know how can we make better videos or better stuff, like anything you need to understand. Or if in any topic regarding medical, if you're not a medical student, that doesn't matter. We can uh, we have a group of uh, people who can teach non-medical stuff. So please make sure to uh, be with us and touch and keep visiting Tiger Schooling. Thank you.